product of a despotic state. Refined people would not, Mill argued, countenance so and so in Kalidas's work. Trevelyan was emphatic that the British need not spend any money to publish, and I quote, erotic Sanskrit dramas teaching lechery in its most seductive forms. This, where literature is concerned. A very established, perhaps the most well-known art critic, George Birdwood, says, and these examples are important because you have to understand the process. Now, talking about Indian sculpture and art and painting, which is a tradition which literally goes back 5,000 years. George Birdwood said, once compared an exquisite Gupta period image of the Buddha to, I quote, to a boiled sweat pudding, and came to the conclusion that in 78 years of study of art, he had not come across anything in India that gave expression, quote, to the good, the beautiful, and the true, unquote. In fact, Birdwood wrote in 1910, as late as 1910, that, and again I quote, sculpture and painting are unknown as fine arts in India, quote, unquote. And then, of course, there is the example of Mr. Lutyens, who built New Delhi and before whom all of New Delhi and elsewhere in India genuflect. He was a complete racist. He was complete racist in his personal views about Indians and especially their abilities in the field of architecture. And he said after doing a complete survey of India, after having seen the exquisite pieces of architecture and many of them a product of that unimaginably creative synthesis